Hey, what's up? It's Kid. Time for another video. Today, we will make a flight delivery system, as promised in the last fly tank video. So these are floats, okay? And I got this off of the uh, Chinese shop. They're available on Amazon. They're available everywhere. It's they're easy to buy. These are nothing but foam floats. The same material as flip flop. And they come in different sizes. You can have spheres, pills, and these cigar shapes. So these are the uh, the main ones that I actually use. Doesn't matter what size it is. Um, it really depends on the gear that you're using. So for me, these are the, the most used ones. And this type of sinker, it's a ball sinker. Very simple, all you have to do is just take this, put it together like that, and you're good to go. So, we're gonna do this one. Now, they have this annoying sticker that I always take off. They don't really do anything, and it doesn't matter what color it is, it's really up to you or what's available. I like this orange side to point towards me, because it's just easier. Now, wire. Wire that I'm using is, uh, Okay, I know that there's going to be a lot of people that will ask. So, I have my calipers here and we'll go ahead and measure. Okay, so I believe this is about 300 pound test uh, American fishing wire. I could be wrong, but the diameter of the wire is... See here? It says 70. All right, so seven, a point seventy mm. Anything over a hundred can be used, but I like the thickness because it's kind of easy to work with. Okay, so very very simple, and this is the very simple version. All you have to do is just take that. Um, actually, it's better to actually put some beads on top there so that you don't break. Also, the beads kind of uh make a clickety clackety sound all it is is what's called a popping cork in the US so a very simple simple it's a do-it-yourself version okay so for me I always put the weight in the color or in the side of the color I don't like orange is very visible from a uh, distance so I'm gonna use orange now I'm gonna explain later after we do this after I show you this I'm gonna explain why these shapes okay so after this all you have to do really is just put an eye at the back right there um, and then put a swivel on okay so I don't like an eye that's too big for this so I'm going to make that size eye right there and then we're gonna put a swivel so let's take one of the swivels from this thing right here. I'm gonna cut cut this anyway. Okay, take a swivel, put it at the back like so, and then you can go ahead and close the eye. As per usual, we're using vice grips to just make things easy all you need is two or three um, wraps and then you can go ahead and break the wire tag in it's very simple just make a crank handle boom that is done Okay, so that's for a very, very simple one. If you are not comfortable working with wire, I suggest this is the, the one you follow. Now, this will float. As you can see, they're not attached. This will float, and this one, this uh, sinker would actually go down. And it helps with tangles. But when you cast, this will cast with 
pretty much everything. Now, if that bothers you and you want everything to be a single unit, here we go. Okay, so all you have to do is just put super glue. Okay, easier to see like this. So put super glue on the. Uh... Man, this always happens when you're trying to really do something, you know? This was free flowing earlier today. Now I have to poke it again. This bottle wants to be poked. Okay, so bring that up. Okay, put. You have to go a bit heavy on the super glue with this one. Oh God, what happened here? So, do this again. It gelled up. Okay, so there's a little bit here which we could use. Just go like that. Okay, uh, liberal amount. Push it in like so. Okay, and then that's pretty much gonna keep it there. Very, very simple. And the beads, they actually make this clacking sound. Okay, so very, very simple. Anyone can do this. Shapes. These have different actions and it helps you with your fishing. This one has a rounded side, a rounded face, and then it has a flat, a rounded flat face to it. And what happens when you reel this in is it will kind of, you know, dodge left to right like that and it transmits that action to your fly. This shape will actually ride on top and skip. And it's kind of like simulating a, let's say, a um, long tom or a garfish. Okay, so it's gonna skip, giving you some sort of attraction. It's gonna skip and then two meters away or one meter away, you have your fly. So if this skips, okay, and you're it creates a lot of commotion. Fish would just check it out and then they see the fly, they end up eating the fly. For this one, when you cast it out, reel it in, it goes side to side because of the face. And again, it will transmit the action to your fly. When you're choosing floats, and uh, I'm gonna show you the weight here. Okay, so this is 15 grams and this whole thing is 18. So my target for this specifically was around uh, as close to 20 as I can because my rod is maximum 35 grams in casting uh, weight capacity. So 20 is perfect for this. For something like this but it's 18 even better I can cast it a long way should be alright uh, when you're when you're putting this together make sure that it's way below the casting capacity of your rod so putting this together is quite simple okay so I just had like a, a length of wire okay like this one put it on like that through and then I have the sinker and I glued it on the bottom, pushed it just like that. So just super glue on, on the uh, sinker and then push it so that it becomes one single unit. And once you have that, that thing, the float and the sinker, one single unit and they move together, which is very important. Once you have that stuck on and Ideally, you'd have the shaft with an open end without the eyes closed. What you do is go to your bathroom. If you have a pail or a bucket or a pitcher of water filled with water, um, you take this and then you drop it down. And what you want is for the water to be just at that line right there. So half of it is uh, underwater, half of it is on top. That means that your sinker is compatible with your float okay now if it floats higher that's fine okay just as long as it doesn't sink 
for subsurface presentations, you have something like this. And this is, uh, you know, this is a kind of a nifty system and it works. This is from owner. It's called the mini 10 bin. And you put your line through the, your, your main line through there. Okay. And then you put a swivel, put a swivel here. Okay. And then your leader goes here to your fly. And as you can imagine, what this does is enable you to cast it. And then when you're casting it, it goes like this, your line here. And this prevents the tangles. You have fluorocarbon of about two to four feet and works really well. The good thing about this is that you're able to change the weight. So if you want a, let's say, middle of the water column, you put a smaller sinker on, cast it out, and you can keep it in the middle. If you want it to drop to the bottom, you'll just switch, switch it over to a uh, heavier sinker and you reach the bottom. But Kit, what about us that don't have access to stuff like that? Well, um, bad luck. Well, no, I'm kidding. You can make one of these and I'll show you how. This is the whole reason for this video in the first place. So this I got from Daiso. Uh, they're lollipop sticks. All right. If you don't have this, what you do is buy your kid or buy yourself a lollipop, eat the candy, and then keep the tube. Unless you have diabetes, that would be bad for you. In which case, you just buy someone a lollipop and uh, ask them to suck on it until they finish the candy and just take the stick. So you have this, and what you do is this is the length is. 100, centi uh, 100 millimeters, so 10 centimeters. And then you measure about three centimeters, thereabouts, doesn't have to be precise. So take a lighter, heat that area up, and then bend it. Just like that. Okay, it doesn't have to be a very sharp angle, but just hold it there until it cools down a bit. And then you'll have a kink there, okay? Take a swivel. Jam it in there, okay? Should be a tight fit. Holes and tubes. It's better if it's a tight fit. Position it just at the bend. Just like that. Okay? And then, what I do is take a bit of braid. Make sure it's positioned correctly. And then I'll do a few wraps in front, like so. And then... A few wraps diagonally hitting the, the swivel eye like that. I flip it around, do a few at, at the back like that, a few turns, and then I go from this side, go over the eye again diagonally, just like that. Okay, and then I half hitch. In my case, I do a whip finish. You can scale all of these, those two, the floats and this. You can scale it up, you can scale it down. That's the beauty of this thing. I'm just uh, giving you like a recipe here. All right. And then, since I don't have a pair of scissors, gonna burn these away just like that same thing here okay now this is not in position yet so there we go okay just like that easy peasy take your super glue now the last time I did this I had drips all over this so I'm gonna put like a tissue here Okay, and then super glue that thing. Why? You, you, the whole time, the whole time this keeps on getting clogged. The whole time. 
Okay, so super glue. Uh, cover it. Cover it well so it doesn't move, and so that the super glue bonds the braid and the plastic. Here we go. That's it. That is it. Now it won't stop. Okay. So, that's it right there. Very easy to make. Uh, again, pass your main line here, out of here, swivel, small swivel. And it should be black so that the fish don't actually target it and it should be small and then your leader you have your you have your fly two feet three four feet away and then that's it uh most important thing to note here is just the variable weight that you put in okay so it could be heavy for presentation near the bottom or on the bottom and lighter if you want it to be a uh, mid water presentation, that's it. It's that simple. That's it. Very easy. Two types, uh, two ways to present the flies and a way for us to fish the flies on spinning gear or in bait casting gear without the use of a fly rod. And with these things, it's possible. Alrighty, so that's it for now. Hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching. Class dismissed. I'll see you in the next one.